the president doesn't get Pennsylvania. He has to get Michigan or he has to get Wisconsin and Nevada. Yesterday, Joe Biden said at one of his speeches that the president doesn't stand a chance in Pennsylvania. He also said this. Listen. The people of this nation have suffered and sacrificed for nine months. None more so than our doctors and our frontline health care workers. This president questioning their character, their integrity, their commitment to their fellow Americans. It's more than offensive. It's a disgrace. He's a disgrace to say it. We have a president who's given up. I'll never give up, nor will America give up. We'll never wave the flag of surrender. We're going to beat this virus. We're going to get it under control. The truth is, to beat the virus, we first got to beat Donald Trump. He's the virus. Kaylee, what's your reaction? He's calling the president the virus. Well, first, I don't know why he always shouts through his campaign speeches. Uh, that is an appalling no statement. Sense. And contrary to what Joe Biden just said, this president rose to the occasion. Right now, when you look at ER visits, only 2.8%, 2.8% are COVID-related. We reduced the mortality rate by 85%, created a vaccine in record time by the end of the year. Therapeutics that work, the greatest testing system in the world. That's what this president did with the novel virus. What did Joe Biden do with the swine flu? Joe Biden stopped testing, cut off testing, did not deliver a vaccine in time and survived through the swine flu because of mere fortuity, according to his chief of staff. This president is offering, again, morning in America, while Joe Biden is offering a dark winter where churches are shuttered, workplaces are shuttered, and schools are closed down. That's not what the American people want, and we will see that in a mere 24 hours.